Hamilton. It's the one word phenomenon creating a revolution on Broadway and beyond. With 11 Tony Awards, a Pulitzer, a Grammy, and sold out shows till the summer of 2017, this culture transforming musical about America's founding fathers is an unprecedented blockbuster with no signs of slowing down. In July, Hamilton's creator, lead actor, and composer Lin Manuel Miranda left the play, and Javier Munoz, his alternate in the title role since the musical's public theater debut in 2015, replaced him. Another replacement who stepped onto the Hamilton stage last July is Lexi Lawson. She assumed the role of Hamilton's wife, Eliza Schuyler, a role originated by Tony nominee Philippa Sue. Hard to imagine a tougher assignment than taking over a leading role in arguably the most famous musical in Broadway history. But by all accounts, including mine, both Munoz and Lawson have more than accomplished that awesome task, and they join me now. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's such a pleasure to have you guys here. Thanks for having, Thanks for having and us. And I know you don't have a lot of free time, so <laughs> thank you doubly. Thank you. <laughs> so, Javier, let me start with you. Yeah. Talking about the role of Hamilton, Lin-Manuel Miranda said this, I can't overstress it. Javi and I created the role together. It really took two people to make it work. Now, I know you said the same thing a number of times. Yeah. So how did that work? How did you two create this role together? Well, Lynn, of course, wrote the, all the material. And in the room with uh, Thomas Kale, our director, it became a, a process of, of, of a lot of conversation, but not only between Lynn and I, but between the three of us, you know, and Tommy really uh, guiding the flow of, uh, of the work. And so, you know, Lynn would go up there and, and, and play the scene. Uh, Andy is, is, is putting it on its feet with Tommy, and, and Alex is putting it, you know, getting everyone, everyone's, you know, putting their two cents in to create the actual scene. I watch, I watch what Lynn does, I hear what Lynn does, and at this point, very often, I don't need to have too much conversation with him. I can listen to what he's trying to accomplish <laughs> uh, and, and understand and get all the information from that alone, even. Mm -hmm. And I take that information, it's, we tag each other in and out. Yeah, I, I heard you say that. I mean, we, we really do. do. You're, like, You're up, you know, <laughs> yeah. and that's it. And then I, I go up and, and I, I'll play the scene again. Lynn will watch or, or, or Lynn, Tommy, and everybody will watch. And, and I'll put my layer onto what Lynn just did. And then we tag each other again and, and, and just back and forth. And that's how we build the thing. Yeah, so you build it together. And, of course, you play the same character, one Alexander Hamilton. But... But there are differences. Obviously, there are differences. What are the unique contributions that you have made to this performance? I, you know, I, I think it comes down to just being who I am, right? As an artist, all you can bring to a character is exactly who you are as a human being, the sum of your experiences mm -hmm. and, and all that you know. And, and so I, I, I find it difficult to differentiate between my version and his version. <laughs> the, the whole process was about marrying the two, you know, so, so I don't see much separation, but I do know what I'm bringing to it is just the sum of who I am. Oh, yeah, and of course, you're the sexy Hamilton. <laughs> ben Bradley of the New York Times <laughs> said. I forgot that. Yes, <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> so, Lexi, you took over for Philippa Sue's uh, um, Eliza Schuyler. When you found out that the role was yours, was it just a happy thrill from the, from the get-go, or, or did you ever have a moment of trepidation? Did you ever have an, oh, I got to do this? <laughs> that, that is what I have, and yeah. I still do. Oh, really? Every night I have that moment, like, <laughs> where am I, you know? Uh, <laughs> but I mean, of course, I was so thrilled and excited, and um, just being with everybody night after night is really, really So how did you phenomenal. make the role yours? How did you prepare for that, and did yeah. Philippa help you? Uh, you know, it, it's very much the same as, as Javi's process, too. Uh, I bring myself to the character first, and then I marry what I believe is Eliza Hamilton with a little bit of myself. Um, and so I, I really, um, for me, I feel like our roles, my role with Philippa's role, when we both played, are, are separate, are different um, um, different ways of playing Eliza Hamilton. Um, I feel like Eliza Hamilton was very complex as a person. Yeah. Uh, in general, you know, uh, her and Hamilton met at a very young age, right. and or Alexander met at a very young age, and she lived till she was 97. So right. I feel like I get a really large arc to play night after night. You know, no, it's funny you should say that, because I went to see the play with my executive producer here at Metro Focus, uh, Dave Brown, and he argues that your role 
that's got to be one of the toughest <laughs> to act in the play because because you do change your character changes so much. It's such a wide gamut of of different personalities yeah. as you develop. You, you you agree with that? Absolutely. Oh, of course. I mean, she was a teenager when she starts the show, and she ends at ninety seven years old. Right. And through that, as going through womanhood, having children, she goes through betrayal. She goes through the unimaginable. The un that's right. And then she's back in the narrative. She becomes an activist. That's right. Yeah. She sure does, and she and she believes in Ham in Alexander Hamilton, and she tells his story, and it's and it and it shows. Was a lot of just of being a courageous, yeah. passionate, strong, determined woman uh, yeah. at the end of the story, and yeah. it's really beautiful because at the end, all she wants to do is see Alexander. Yeah. So yeah. Really now, now, Javier, the the first time uh, you played Hamilton on Broadway, yes. and you were still an alternate, mm -hmm. of course. Um, <laughs> President Obama <laughs> was in the audience. Yes. So, so, so how did that happen, and how did you uh, react to the challenge? Well, I was on my way to the theater for, you know, we were in tech. I know, no pressure. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> and, the president's out there. And, and I got, I'm already waiting for the train, and, and, and Tommy, our, our director, sends me a text, and he, he asks me to meet him in the house uh, once I arrive. And, and so I'm, I, I, of course, I'm already on my way. I'll see you in you know, a little bit. And of course, I go into the mindset of, great, what I do wrong? What did I mess <laughs> yeah. up the last rehearsal? Yeah. Man, what did I forget? I'm going through all my notes. I'm thinking it's going to be like, you know, a lecture of some yeah. sort of, we need you more been, from uh, you. You must have host at one point. <laughs> <laughs> you just read my mind. You know, right. <laughs> you know, but of course, I get there, and, and, and Tommy and Lynn are in the house, and, and uh, I go meet them, and they're explaining to me that... Uh, uh, the president has finally decided to come see the show, and it just happens to be, you know, the matinee I'm going to perform. And in my head, immediately, I thought, okay, all right, well, then Lynn will do this show, and, and I'll just start next week. Maybe I'll get two before we open, and, and that'll be that. Uh, and as I'm thinking that, you know, Tommy ends the, the sentence by saying, and, and we still want you to perform, <laughs> to which I was sure I didn't hear correctly. <laughs> so I said to him, I, I'm sorry, like, you know, and then Lynn just turns to me and says, and you're gonna be great. Aww. And that was it. It was decided I would still perform. And I was excited, I wasn't nervous at all. Yeah. It, it, it was so thrilling to just be, able, be on the Broadway stage performing that role in that show and, and then to have the president there, I mean, it was just, it was electric, it was fire, you know, so, so I really didn't feel the nervousness or the sort of impact of it till that night. <laughs> After it was all said and done, lying in bed, eyes wide open, staring at the ceiling, thinking, what just happened? Wow. <laughs> you know? He went backstage during intermission? He did. What did he say to you? Uh, he shook my hand. Uh, as he was, he was sort of going through everyone, and I, I'm sort of, I, I was just standing there waiting uh, for my turn, and he just turned to me, took my hand, looked me square in the eye, and says, and you are great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then kept going, and I think I pretty much just stood there. As he kept going, <laughs> so it's like that just happened. Yeah. Yeah. It was wonderful. Well, both of you uh, worked with Lee Manuel Miranda before. You were the alternate, and then you replaced him as uh, Usnavi in in the Heights. Mm. And you were Vanessa, one of the lead characters in the first Road Company. First National. Yeah. So, so, so how did that prepare you? Let me start with you, Javier. How did that prepare you to uh, to do Hamilton? It's it's. I think if if, if there's any sort of preparation that occurred, it's the the establishment of the working relationship I have with Lynn, which is grounded in our friendship and, and, and unique in the sense that I've never experienced that kind of working relationship, creative relationship with anyone in, in this industry. And it takes great humility and it takes great trust between us uh, to be able to, to build a thing together and, and allow for you know, for him to allow me to come to the table with my own ideas, uh, is 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 generous and and yeah, it's it's built really rooted in our friendship, and I think that's where it began, and it's carried over into Hamilton and and just you know became elevated. And Lexi, what about you? Well, gosh, I, I joined him or I joined in the Heights uh, right after right after I was done with Rent and. Um, with playing, rent, doing rent. Yeah. yeah, I was doing rent, and, and playing Vanessa was honestly one of my dream roles. I always wanted to play Vanessa, and so I'll never forget when I first went into the audition room and Lynn was there. I honestly like like peeked in and then turned around and walked out because I was just like, Lynn Manuel Miranda's in there. Oh my God! And these two guys are in there too. They have curly just hair. Fan girl, that <laughs> like fan girl, like fangirl. I was like, okay, and uh, you know, and how I felt then is still how I feel about them now. They're just really wonderful people. The creative team. 
they're so honest and loyal and kind and generous, and um, I couldn't be more grateful. Well, yeah. well I, you know, as I said in the introduction, this play has become a phenomenon. Everybody knows it. I mean, it's beyond um, the phenomenon in Broadway or a phenomenon in the theater. It's a cultural phenomenon. It's transforming the culture. It's transforming the conversation. Yes. Uh, do you feel a special responsibility uh, beyond the responsibility you feel as a serious performer? Let me start with you, Lex. I, I do. I do. I, we're telling history. And uh, I think that it's very important to be able to be as truthful as we can. And uh, I... I, I'm learning to not put as much pressure on myself because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm surrounded by such wonderful castmates. Uh, but I do feel uh, the responsibility to tell those stories as truthful as I can every night. Mm -hmm. And so it's important, it's really important for me, yeah, to, to be serious. And, and, and you? Uh, yeah, I think, I think specifically for me, the thing I'm always uh, feeling very respons uh, a great responsibility for is, is the representation, is diversity on stage and the impact it's having on the industry, the impact it's having on, on just uh, uh, the discourse. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's wonderful to, to just show up and do our job yeah. and have that be a statement in and in end of itself. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty, it's pretty wonderful that, that this casting reflects our daily lives and what mm -hmm. we see in and out of, of our and, and talking about your, I have to ask you this, you know, you've been very open about the fact that you have um, been living with HIV or HIV positive yes. since 2002 and that yes. last year you got and, and luckily survived yes. the cancer. How have these experiences informed well, how have they transformed your life and how have they informed the way you play the role? Uh, greatly. Uh, impact my life in the sense of, you know, there, there's a clarity of, of what really matters and what, what, uh, what doesn't. And, and what I'm gonna put my energy towards and what I'm not going to. And not that the things that I, I, I won't put my energy towards are beneath me in any way. It's just a clarity of what is more important to me to accomplish in the time that I have. Yeah. And playing Hamilton, his race against time yeah. and, and his, his imagining death, when those two, that, that line happens twice, you know, it's, it's the most genuine I think I've ever played a, a role in my life. I mean, you can't escape, I can't escape the truth it touches within me. And, uh, and, uh, and it's, it's a great gift to be able to have that experience and give that experience and, and feel the audience come with me on that experience yeah. as well. Well, listen, you know, I never got to see the play when uh, Lin Manuel and Philippa were in it, but I'll tell you what I've been telling everybody I feel incredibly grateful that I got to see it with you guys in it. Really, I mean it. Thank you so much for your wonderful work thank and you. thank you for taking the time to come here. And thank you so you. much. Thank you. If you would like more information on the play Hamilton or on the PBS Great Performances special, Hamilton's America, please log on to metrofocus.org.